Are you sure you're ready for DDD? Hey Dishers, this is David here. I'm coming at you with another episode of Deluxe Day Dishes. Alright y'all, I wanted to come at y'all real quick to let y'all know about the 40th NAACP Image Awards. I just got done watching them. Very good, very good, very good, very good. I enjoyed it. Had its little moments, but it was very entertaining. I enjoyed it. I'm going to go through my review, what I thought about everything, and, and y'all let me know what y'all thought about it too. Basically, it opened up, I was very surprised to see Beyonce open up the show. You know, I thought she would come a little bit later, but Beyonce opened up the show doing Halo. I did not quite like Beyonce's little mix to the Halo thing, but it was all right. But Beyonce did a great job. I enjoyed her um, doing the little rendition and the little stuff in the background that they had celebrating the NAACP, you know, cent uh, centennial. Not, or I think it's, yeah, something like that. Like, it's it's in it's centennial year or something like that. Um... Also, um, the, after that, we saw our hosts, Tyler Perry and Halle Berry were our hosts. They did a really good job. I enjoyed Tyler Perry. He really brought a lot of fun to it. You know what I'm saying? Halle Berry was kind of, she wasn't really very excited, but she was just there. You know what I'm saying? It was good. But I enjoyed Tyler Perry. He was a really great host for the whole thing that they had going on there. So then we get out Mon Monique and Tracy Ellis Ross. Those are the only real people that I really enjoyed their their uh, presentation of the awards. So that, that's why I'm really going to talk about Monique really has looked great. Every time I've seen Monique, she's been looking great. Every time she comes out, Monique is looking fabulous. And Tracy Ellis looks really nice. But this is her only thing about about her. Them eyes, boy, they're so scary. I'm sorry, even when she was on Girlfriends, her eyes has always been scary to me, y'all. I don't know what it is. But Tracy Ellis is cool, though. And um, right after that, we had uh, our outstanding actor in the drama, which was Hill Harper and Jennifer Hudson got up there and she got the award for the best new artist. I really like that, but I still think it should have gone to Jasmine Sullivan. I'm sorry, I'm biased, but Jasmine Sullivan's album, I'm sorry you guys, was better than Jennifer Hudson's album. And I'm going to have to say that I can't express that anymore, that J Jennifer Hudson's album was not quite as good as Jasmine Sullivan's. I'm sorry, but Jasmine should have been getting the award. Anyway, Tracy Ellis, uh, Ellis Ross came up here and she got the award for Best Actress. I, Girlfriends has been on for a while. I guess this is the last time she'll be getting something. I really, Tia Mowry probably should have got it from the game or Tashina Arnold from Everybody Hates Chris. That, that's what I really think, the action and the comedy series. Um, but I did like the comment that Tracy Ellis Ross made about Girlfriends not giving us a final episode. I'm glad she finally has apologized to all the fans that were out there, the people that were supporting Girlfriends to the fullest. And she finally said that, you know, I'm not going to, you know, she finally was like, okay, look, I'm sorry we didn't give y'all a final episode, but you know what? I think they can still do it. Come on out with some final episodes. They need to bring us a final episode of Eve. They need to bring us a final episode of One on One. They need to bring us a final episode of Girlfriend. They need to bring us a lot of final episodes of those great black UPN slash CW shows that we loved and enjoyed watching. If y'all feeling me on that, let me know because... That is what I really want to see. Those finales to those shows would be awesome if we could finally get a final episode to all those shows that we should like. Even Cut. I like Cut, too. That was a good show, too. Come on. Give us our final episode. Anyway, then we had our outstanding fe uh, outstanding male and female artists. Male was, went to Jamie Foxx. Uh, the female went to Beyonce. Beyonce got best female. You know, I really, really enjoy her. Her speech was weird, though. Beyonce, I've never seen her in that element before. She was kind of, like, talking a lot. Like, usually I'm not used to her. I'm used to her being more shy, laid back, but she was actually talking a lot, and I really like how she gave shout-outs to, you know, her mother, and she showed, she thanked them for her support and keeping her stable and stuff like that. Beyonce did a really, really nice speech, though, um, commending her parents. The Chairman Award went to... Um, Wangari, I'm, I'm look, having a look at this, Wangari Mathai um, and Al Gore. Um, Will I Am performed. He did a great job. I really enjoyed um, that uh, Will I Am's performance. It was really a nice twist to everything that he was talking about um, during that. Tyler Perry's House of Pain won for the best outstanding comedy series. 
Oh, it's another one I really didn't agree with you guys. I thought that that comedy series should have definitely, definitely, definitely either went to the game or Everybody Hates Chris. I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm biased. I, I just started getting into House of Pain, but I'm not really a big fan of Solitary's House of Pain. So I, I, I didn't see that. Then uh, Actress in a Miniseries went to Felicia Rashad, and the actor in a miniseries or TV or movie went into, went to, uh, in a TV miniseries or TV movie, went to Sh uh, Sean Diddy Combs. So it went to him. Um, I mean, there weren't that many uh, actors that I, I think Sean did a really good job in the Raising the Sun. Felicia Rashad did also. So I, I, those awards I didn't, I didn't disagree with. Outstanding actor in a supporting, in a supporting motion picture, went to Columbus Short for actor, and Taraji P. Henson got it for um, the Curious Case of Benjamin Button. So that was, I was very happy that she got it. She was the girl that you all saw in The Family That Prays that played Sanaa Lathan's sister in the movie. So I have not seen that movie yet. I do want to see it because I've heard very good reviews on it. And I even think it might be up for an Academy um, for some things in there um, or some of the actors and actors are up for Academy from that movie also. Finally, Seal got up there and he did his thing um, and he did his thing about like all the people that passed, all the NAACP old people that have passed away, gone on, Eartha Kid, Bernie Mac, all that really great performance from Seal. The Vanguard Award went to Russell Simmons. It was so hilarious to see his kids up there. They were acting up like the little girl. They looked like the two of the Obama girls, you know, up there, and they were just doing their thing, like basically just acting a, acting a fool, basically. But Russell Simmons held it together, brought them girls up there. They was cool, though. Then the President's Award went to Muhammad Ali. This was the best, uh, actually, this was the best time of the night. You know, Muhammad Ali got out there. I called my mom. I was like, mom, 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 mom. Look, Muhammad Ali is on, you know what I'm saying? Because this, this really, seriously, you guys, could be the last time we actually see Muhammad Ali in that type of setting ever again. So it was really, really nice to see him sitting down there, even though he was he couldn't even talk, y'all. He was basically out there shaking, and he couldn't even talk. But we were. I'm just happy that we actually get to see him get out there, because you never know how long we could, we could be seeing him again. But I was happy to see Muhammad Ali. Great to see him out there. Jennifer Hudson tore up that song that she sang for him. I enjoyed that performance. Actually, that was the best performance to me of the night. Jennifer Hudson did a great, great, great performance, brought everybody up. Really, really great performance. Um, outstanding actor in a motion picture was Will Smith. Will Smith did a really nice uh, acceptance speech. I really liked uh, that Will Smith got that award. And then also, I did not agree with this, Rosario Dawson got the best outstanding actress in a motion picture. I did not agree with that. I think it should have went to Alfred Woodard for The Family That Prays. I'm sorry, but I believe that that should have gone to Alfred Woodard. That's my opinion. Last but not least, we have the Outstanding Motion Picture, which went to The Secret Life of the Bees. And I guess I'm just a big Family That Prays. Um, I'm a big Family That Prays fan of that movie. And there's nothing else that I've seen that has, has, has topped that, not even Seven Pounds or The Secret Life of Bees, which won for that. The Secret Life of Bees won. I believe the family of praise should have won. Then we ended out the show with Stevie Wonder. That ending was kind of cornballish with all the quizzes at the end and stuff like that. And who is this? Da -da 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 -da. Who is this? Da -da 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 -da. I didn't really like the ending of that, but all in all, it was a really, really nice night. I really enjoyed seeing everybody. Everybody looked happy, united. It was a really, really great night. Um, it, it's it's really good to see all the black people come out and support one another and get out there and really show their love for for what the NAACP is doing for everybody and what they've done over this period of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this show and make sure you rate, subscribe, comment, please, on Deluxe Day Edition. Make sure you subscribe. Holla back, y'all. Peace out.